Today, it's our first look at the Ford EcoBoost V6. We'll keep the more efficient engine and add in some power. It's all coming at you today on Truck U. Welcome to Truck U. So this is a pretty cool day because as far as our shop is concerned, this is our first look at the new EcoBoost engine from Ford. All right, so here's what we got. 2013 F-150. It lists out at like $46,000 and some change. You gotta love it. And it's got about a mile and a half on it, and we're gonna start tearing it up. How I cool love it, love it, love it. You know, this EcoBoost engine, what's inside here is really a push for what's you know current in demand these days. You want an engine that's more fuel efficient and has less um, environmental gases, less damage to our environment, right? Sure. You know, traditionally you'd find a truck like this is something that's got a lot of power, a lot of torque, and that usually means a V8 that's naturally aspirated. Well, today, Ford has got these V6 engines that can give you comparable power, comparable torque, and they do it with a lot less fuel waste and a lot less environmental damage. Then the way they're doing that is with twin turbochargers, man. It's pretty cool. Now, the interesting thing is as these engine evolves, so does the entire aftermarket industry, and that's what's going on right now. And we've got some of those parts that we're going to add onto this thing today. So we're talking about a tuner, and we're talking about a new exhaust, and we're going right into your wheelhouse with some inner workings on the turbos. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool, man. There's a lot of potential here, man, a lot of untapped potential. This could be a fun project. It's like clay. You're molding. <laughs> So we mentioned that we're doing some performance upgrades on this EcoBoost F-150, right? It all starts down here at the bottom of the engine. What we're going to do is rip out the stock exhaust and replace it with a new one from Solo Performance. Now, the nice thing about the replacement one going in is the fact that it's cat back. So we're not messing with any of that stuff up there, not throwing up any codes or lights, right? Yeah, usually when you get uh, and start dealing with cats is when you start throwing off lights, and that can be a whole bunch of problems, especially with a new vehicle. And it seems like every model year, they throw more and more yeah. warning indicators and all kinds of issues on. So we're going to stay away from all yeah. that. Heck well, the that. whole idea with the sole performance exhaust is we're going to get performance because when you talk about a forced air induction system, you want to get nice clean air getting out. Any kind of restrictions, you're going to have what you call back pressure with a turbocharger, and that's not going to allow you to get um, good clean boost into the engine. Good clean boost means good clean horsepower, so the better exhaust flow we get out, the more power we're going to be able to get in. Right. And that's magnified when you talk about forced induction. I think I got it all for just one bolt here, man. Speaking of getting out, you ready to take this thing out? Hold on, hold on. Now, you know what's cool is, as we pull this out, you got it there? Hold on a second, son. I'm good up here, dude. I don't know what the problem is. All right. This flex joint in the stock exhaust is kind of nice to help us get it in and out. Unfortunately, after about eight or nine years, that'd probably be the first thing to go. Yeah. But. For now, it's a bonus. How are you doing there, Hulk? I am doing good. Just a bit cumbersome. Well, on your end. Uh, get any curls in there? I think I got one. I'm really feeling the burn. Now, when it comes to the replacement options that we have for this exhaust from Solo Performance, we've got two different options we can go, right? We can go with this single four inch exhaust that goes all the way back, goes through this muffler here, which has very little restriction. So we'll get good performance out of that. However, with this particular one, it's a little bit louder, a little bit more aggressive sounding, which a lot of people will like that. They'll want to go that direction. But if you don't, and you want to keep it a little bit more quieter with the same performance, you can go with the Mach Dual right here. So what you've got is a three inch out, and that's what we're starting off with. Now, there's a big challenge when it comes to this EcoBoost engine, and that is you've got a lot of harmonics built inside of it. So it becomes a point of trying to get performance and you don't want to sacrifice a drone inside the cab. So the way they do that is they've got a Y coming into the muffler and once they get inside the muffler, they do an X pattern and that balances out the pulses of the engine. Be able to do that, you get that performance, you get rid of that drone and yeah. you can look inside here, you can see what that design looks like. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty sophisticated, and what's nice is too, they take it to the next level. It's all TIG welded, they're using stainless steel, they've got the great looking tips on it, and you know it's all mandrel bent. Absolutely. Now it's just a matter of putting it in. Well, the Y and the X. You really know your ABCs. And the PDQs. So. All right, this is a little bit lighter than the one we just took out. It's somewhat less cumbersome, yes? <laughs> So we've got this ball socket right on the end and that seals up real nice. All you want to do is just double check and make sure that you didn't drop it and put a dent in it and affect the seal or anything, but this one's all good. And this will go in, we can turn it up. Now with any exhaust system, what you want to do is get the major components hung in place before you start tightening things down. Don't get ahead of yourself because 
they'll have a hard time getting things to fit. This way, if we just hang it all here, we can configure and wiggle everything around just like we need it. Now, once we'll set here, I'm going to slide the muffler on. This thing should go together pretty quickly. I want to show you guys something real quick, and that is these clamps we're going to be using. Now, these are stainless steel, and what they're going to allow us to do, or allow you to do if you wanted to, is to make up two pieces of tube if you had to without having a flange then It'll literally wrap around, the two tubes will butt into each other, and this will seal it up good in place. All you'd have to do is tack weld it around it. Now, what we're going to do is we, we've got a flange end here on the muffler, which is nice, but when we wrap it around, we're going to tack weld it as well. This way, it'll just be a little bit more secure. We don't have to worry about anything getting loose once we're under here. All right. I think I got this held on there. All right. We're going to go to break right now. When we come back, we'll keep working on the solo performance dual exhaust. You know, I saw a news story today that said 50% of American pets are overweight. Yeah? I can believe it, man. You got a fat dog? No, but I've seen yours. Yeah. Well, mine's like 14 years old. Have you got your side done yet? <laughs> I'm waiting on you. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Truck U. So today's pretty cool because it's the first time that we've had the opportunity to work on a 2013 F-150 with the EcoBoost engine. So this is cool. What we want to do is kind of just step up the performance today, right? So the first order of business was this new exhaust that we got from Solo Performance. Let me slide this up there. You hold that. Yeah, we've got this thing mostly in place. And, you know, in factory configuration, it was a single exhaust coming back and we split it to three uh, three inch dual exhaust. Now with well, one side, my side was easy. You know, that's the passenger side because Ford, well, they already laid the foundation, man. You just run through the same place where we were. We got the same mounting locations. You don't have to worry about anything. They got the heat shields in place. When it comes to the other side, the guys at Soul Performance had to do a little bit of innovation because you need to put a heat shield on like they did to protect yep. the spare tire as well as these brake lines. You don't want to have you know hot exhaust up against a brake line. It's not going to end well. No, they did a lot of research and development, and I like the way everything's placed on here. You know, one of the issues that they're having with these later model vehicles is a lot of drone inside the cab. So we saw that with the stock exhaust. They had the big old resonator there. That's how the factory dealt with it. Well, what's nice about this particular system is no resonator. It's nice and sleek, nice and small going through there. And through the design and the technology, they figured out how to get the higher performance and get rid of the drone. Yeah, it's Nicely the best done. of both worlds. And the look looks good too. It's got that, you know, kind of a mean, aggressive stance with the two exhausts or dual exhausts coming out either side, the nice uh, stainless steel polished tips, man. It's a nice bonus to this truck. It's going to allow us to get more performance out of that engine as well. Yep. Solar performance, dude. Looking good back there. All right, we just got to tighten it all down. All right, our solo performance exhaust is in. It is done. It's going to sound good. It's going to perform well. Now it's just a matter of giving it a little bit added insurance. So what we're going to do is tack weld on either side of these new clamps. Now, I mentioned a little bit earlier how we're going to do that, and what it, it will do is allow this to stay nice and tight. It's going to be a permanent fix where it can never pull apart. All it takes is a few tack welds, and we are done. We can move on. Earlier, Bruno was talking about the fact that the EcoBoost engine is actually smaller, but still makes the same power as a bigger engine or close to it, right? And it does that with the use of these turbos right here. Now, here's the deal. When you get Bruno talking about turbos, you might as well just leave the room. I appreciate you walking away because this might take a second. Now, what you want to do if you want to get an upgrade to these turbos is you take out the factory ones, just package them up and send them to the guys at Walsh Motorsports because in a matter of a few days, you're going to get back basically a brand new turbo that's going to be much more efficient and make a ton more power. And the way they're doing that is by working with the guys at Precision Turbo. Now, I'm pretty familiar with these guys. They've proved my, themselves in the racing world, powered me to two world championships, so I speak highly of them. That same race winning technology is now going into their production turbochargers. So what they're doing basically is changing the compressor wheel. Here are two factory ones you get from Ford. These are the upgraded ones from Precision. I know they look alike, but there are some serious differences between these two little wheels. Now you've got a right and a left-handed turbo, so you need wheels going the correct direction. That's just a little thing. What you're looking at inside these wheels, really, it's all about the fins and the fin angles. So this is a six-blade design is what they call it. The new ones from Precision are going to be a seven-blade design. Um, when you talk about power out of these things, you're talking about the ability to get it to spool up faster, making more boost pressure, which is going to be more power. I know at first glance you might think, wow, how can a little wheel like this really make a difference? Well, in my race car, we picked up 100 horsepower when the guys at Precision upgraded my compressor wheel. So the compressor wheel goes down into here, and when you send these to the guys at um, Walsh Motorsports, what they're going to do is not only put in these new compressor wheels, but they're going to upgrade the whole turbo. They're going to go through it, put new seals, make sure that this thing is set, and it's basically like a brand new 
high horsepower turbo coming back to you, which will really bring this EcoBoost engine to life. You feel good, huh? I feel really good. I thought you needed some alone time, <laughs> you know? Hey, another cool thing that the guys at Precision Turbo are doing is they're building these upgraded intercoolers. So it's great for an application like this with a truck because odds are pretty good you're going to be doing some towing. So you've got more power, you're working hard, pulling that heavy trailer, things are getting hotter. That's where the intercooler comes in and it cools those charge temperatures back down because ideally you want all that air as cool as possible, right? More horsepower, that's the name of the game. So you got that combination between the turbos and the intercooler going right there. It's a nice deal. Yeah, you get all this stuff from the guys at Walsh Motorsports. Yep, now we need to go to break right now, when we come back, more work on the F-150. Let's go inside the Duplicolor garage. Duplicolor, yes you can, in your garage. <laughs> now I don't claim to know what this guy did to the truck, but back here this thing looks awful. Now the good news is it's not all mangled up, so we don't have to take it to the body shop and spend who knows what, because this is something we can fix ourselves, and we're going to do it with the Duplicolor Perfect Match paint. Once we get everything taped off, we can go ahead and scuff the bad area right here. Now we're going to blend this paint in, so we only want to scuff the damaged area, paying special attention right here with this deep scratches. We'll get that smoothed out, then we can hit it with filler primer and then the paint. We're going to let this filler primer set up and dry, and once it does, we can sand it down and make it nice and smooth. That way the surface is good for us to lay the paint onto. Now, we did match up the color code of the vehicle to the perfect match paint, so that's going to match up the stock factory finish. Here's the deal though, this truck's been sitting out in the sun now for a couple of years and the whole thing's faded out a little bit. That's why we're going to blend the paint in and just make it look as natural as we possibly can. The first coat of paint's going to go on nice and easy right on top of that primer and from there we'll blend it out to the sides. Before we laid on the clear, we went ahead and took all the paper and tape off of the entire fender. That way we get that uniform factory finish that we want along the whole fender. And it looks brand new. We had that damage right here, and now it looks as good as new. And we did it for under 25 bucks, utilizing the Duplicolor Perfect Match Primer, Color, and Clear. For more information about the Perfect Match or any of the other Duplicolor products, be sure to check out their website. Sounds good, man. It does sound good. I like it. All right, let me reel it in. Let me bring it down. All right, cool. Ugh. Nicely done. I like it. Hey, guys, that truck sounds awesome. Tim, thanks, man. Look at that. Always good to see you, and your timing is impeccable. Perfect timing. Hey, this is Tim from SCT. We called in a favor and brought him in. He's kind of the expert when it comes to tuning, and so are the guys at SCT. Now, when anytime you're doing an exhaust upgrade like we did, and then when you start digging into performance upgrades like we do with the turbos, you need to tie it all in together, and right. he is the guy to do just that. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate it. No problem. It. So, Tim, what have you got, man? Show you me. know, I brought over our new Livewire TS. It's going to get you guys all set up for the turbo upgrades on this EcoBoost. Now, what I like about it is, are you doing the install? Because that would make life a lot easier. Um, Actually, you know, I got our truck outside. It's an EcoBoost that's already tuned. I think yeah. me and Bruno are going to go for a drive, Whoa. and you know, you can Whoa. stay and install this one. I like how, that. How does this? No, where did he? Hold you on. stay here and you, you just do whatever it is you do. Okay, we got this. I do you're everything. The, you're here. the professional. I do pretty much everything around here, if you haven't noticed. So Tim, I gotta say, love the truck. The graphics are already, man, kick this thing up. Why did SCT get involved with doing these, these EcoBoost motors? Well, you know, obviously the the small motors for fuel economy are there's the future of, you know, Ford and the other manufacturers. Everybody wants good fuel economy, but they, they don't want to sacrifice the horsepower. So, you know, twin turbos on a V6 makes the same power as a V8. See, I like that, the small displacement, man. You just put, stuff it full of air and you can make power. Exactly. But obviously there's some need here for some some tuning, especially in our application, man. We've got a new exhaust, and somebody's got to bring it all together, and I think you guys are doing it with this new product. Yeah, you know, the Livewire TS adds lots of horsepower, lots of torque. It still maintains the fuel economy as long as you can keep your right foot out of it. <laughs> now, in terms of performance, that's what I'm all about, the, the numbers. What are we looking at from just simply adding the tuner? Just the tuner itself adds 50 horsepower at the rear wheels and 100 foot-pounds of torque. So your, wow. little, your little V6 responds like a diesel truck when it's tuned because of the twin Turbos. Wow, that's amazing. Now, some of the things that you can do besides just the tuning aspect of it, you know, I, I know there's a, like a gauge pack, I guess, inside of this thing, right? 
Right. You know, LiveWire TS just isn't a tuner. It's also a full data monitor, so you can monitor all the vehicle's engine parameters right on the screen of the device. Right now, we're running, we're monitoring boost. You know, we're monitoring transmission pressure, air intake temperatures, all vital, vital things of the engine while it's running that you want to keep your eye on. You LiveWire TS on all the gauges, you can set up a custom alert. So if that air intake temperature hits, you know, 220, 230 degrees, the gauge will actually flash red to let you know that, hey, you know, it, it's getting pretty hot. You better back out of it. Okay. So we're making a lot of power. We'll be able to keep things living. What about the installation, man? Is it something that, well, it's easy to do? You know, it takes 20, 25 minutes from start to finish. It backs up your stock tune. So, you know, you always have that tune in there. So if you ever need to return the vehicle to stock, you can easily return it to stock. You know, start to finish, you're looking 20, 25 minutes max to install this product. So Matt, we're probably thinking 45 to an hour, so we can drive around for he, a while. You know, he, he's probably still back there <laughs> trying to trying to install the tunes. So. <laughs> no, you know he's waiting for us to come back to install it. That's Matt. Yo, Matt. Yo. Oh, come on, again? What? Seriously? What? You're sitting here doing nothing. Why the violence, dude? Me and Tim, we've been driving around for about 20 minutes doing a little road test, and you're doing nothing. You could have got a lot of work done. I've been driving for like three hours, bro. I'm All right, saying. maybe it was two, but at least you could almost put the wheels on. Dude, the exhaust is done. I finished these chips. The, the chips are done, the yeah, cookies are the, done. No, I, the SCT program, it's all hooked up. What are you worried about? the videos. All right, listen, we're going to take a break. Matt, you get to work. I'm going to go take a break. We get back from more Truck U. You Please, quit. do something. You got to quit stressing, bro. Welcome back to Truck U. Now, this is cool. Today, we can kind of see the direction that hitches are going. And this is the Reese Tow Power Carbon Forged Ball Mount. Now, what makes this unique is the fact that it is a one-piece design. There are no welds. See, when you remove the welds, you remove the weakness in the hitch. So this unique one-piece design is going to give you a lot greater towing capacity. Now, it comes in different finishes. It comes in different drops, two and three inch, and different ratings from six to 7,000 pounds. What's great about this, too, is another patented feature. It's the interlock system right here. It's going to give you one wrench tightening because there's a little recessed area here where the ball sits down into. So now you only need one wrench on the bottom. The top will be locked in place. You spin it there, and you are locked up, good to go. That is real nice. Another cool thing is if you want to do that on the other side and flip it over, it's recessed on that side as well. These things have also been road tested up to 100,000 miles, so you know they're going to hold up. It's a good deal. It's the Reese Tow Power Carbon Forged Ball Mounts. LMC Truck has a multitude of ways that you can customize your particular vehicle. For example, if you've got a late 60s, early 70s model Chevy GMC and you want a new rear bumper for it, they've got it right here. Chrome rear bumper with exhaust cutouts. It's right there at LMC Truck. Now, this is exclusive through LMC Truck, but you know the deal with these guys. If you've got a Ford, Chevy, Dodge, or GMC truck, man, they've got everything you need dating back to 1947. You get one of their free catalogs, you open it up, you find the parts you need. They've got great diagrams and pictures, so you can find those hard-to-find parts for your restoration. Now you can order through the catalog online or by phone. No matter what you do, you got access to 30,000 parts they keep in stock every day, man. LMC Truck has got you covered. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speed.com or visit our website at truckutv.com. So many times when we use Z-Max here, it's on an older vehicle that we're having problems with, and those problems are usually associated with carbon deposits. And today it's different, though, because the vehicle's brand new, and we want to use Z-Max as a preventative measure. Yet when your vehicles cost as much as they do today, you want to make sure that you can maintain that vehicle's integrity, especially when you're talking about the engine. You know, with an engine like this, you've got a lot going on in there, and you can have carbon buildup that'll rob power and actually damage the turbo. So by pouring in Z-Max, it's an easy thing to do. It'll keep that engine running like new and keep those turbos spinning up, man. That means this thing's going to be able to keep making power for a long time. I tell you what, I get this question all the time. People say, Matt, does the Z-Max really work? And I tell them, look, at the shop, we did the experiment with the metal and we heated it up to simulate operating temperature and we watched the Z-Max soak into the metal. Now, here's how it did it. It's a micro lubricant. So think about it like this. One little molecule of Z-Max is about this big, whereas your standard oil or standard lubricant is about that big, right? So obviously, this little guy right here can sneak into places and lubricate where 
where this big guy can't go. I mean, that's breaking it down to its simplistic form, but that's how the Z-Max works. Yeah, it's not altering the oil, it's working with it at making the oil work as a carrying agent to transperse it throughout the engine. So it's working at a micro level where it'll actually soak into the metal, it'll wick away any kind of carbon deposits so it has nothing to cling to. So that engine will stay running like new for a long period of time. You know what, it's easy to use, that's the best part. It is, it is. All right, we need to go to break right now, but I think another thing this truck's getting is brand new tires, right? Ah. This guy's making out. This tip is brought to you by Z-Max. Performance you can feel. This segment of Truck U is brought to you by Aturo Tire. Performance within reach. Nice work on the new shoes, man. These things are going to perform, and you know, we're going to need them with all that power add to this EcoBoost. Look at that. I mean, these were okay, right? I like the but look much too. Much better. All right, so here we go. You mentioned all the new power, all right? All the performance based stuff. Right. Now we want to put that performance on the ground. Now, this is the AZ800 from Atoro. Nice tire. It looks good on this Vision wheel. This is a great looking combination. We've got these wide shoulder blocks right there. Now, all this siping, those are those little tiny cuts in there. That's going to help when you're driving on a wet ground, you know, and the grooves are just going to spit the water out to the side. So you even have high performance under rainy conditions. Yeah, with a high performance tire, you want it to be stiff too. And this will eliminate some of the flex because it's got a dual layer base tread compound and extra hard carbon layer base. So what that does, it removes some flexibility at high speeds. You want this thing to be nice and rigid. So when you're at high speed, this thing will really perform. Yeah, these Aturo tires are scientifically designed with performance in mind, so to speak, which I knew you'd be happy with, right? Very happy. I'm trying to keep the peace around here. And <laughs> to be honest, between you and I, I'm just trying to cut down on the complaining. Well, if you did a little work, it would help. Well, see, that's what I was talking about the other day. You know see, what I mean? I thought that things were better at Pitch You know? You weren't so uber competitive. You know, don't uber, rush. Uber competitive is the word. Whoa. You got that, too? Just do me a favor. Don't strip that stud on that side, huh? Sneak it. Just don't be in a rush. You kind of really gave me a hard time earlier today. You know that? I mean, what did you think? I wasn't doing anything? You guys were gone for like three hours. I didn't know you were going to launch and a movie. Are you done? And fishing. And you, the, you want to get the impact? Yeah, I'll go get it. Here you go. Parel. Nice. How you like that? Never huh? cease to amaze me, my Here, friend. You might need that. Yeah, this would make it a lot easier. You'd hate to use it without it. All right, it's all the time we got for truck. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>